What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're going to discuss the 12 items you can use to make up a full wardrobe. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Daryl Hayes, salute. Now today's video is actually the result of a question I got from a huge supporter of the channel, Vaughn Carter, who asked how he could build a complete wardrobe with the least amount of items. Now for someone who's into style as much as I am, that can be a bit of a challenge, but I'm up for it. On today's video, I'm gonna give you 12 great items that if you use them interchangeably, you'll be ready for almost any style of situation you find yourself in. So without any further delay, let's talk about 12 pieces you can use to build a full wardrobe. Now to build a full wardrobe on a minimal amount of items, you need pieces that are versatile, classic, and interchangeable. Like the first item on our list, a white Oxford cloth button down shirt. Now the white Oxford cloth button down is the most versatile shirt you can have in your arsenal. You can tuck it in, you can wear it untucked, wear it under a blazer, under a sweater. You can wear it with a tie, you can wear it without a tie. You can roll the sleeves up, you can wear it with shorts. Hands down, it's the most versatile and interchangeable shirt you can have in your arsenal. So if you're gonna build a full wardrobe and you need one shirt that will work the best, grab a white Oxford cotton button down shirt. Next up on the list, we need a dress shoe, but we need one that's interchangeable and versatile. Hands down, the most versatile dress shoe you can have, a brown brogue, like a wingtip. The reason why the brown brogue will be your go-to dress shoe, you can dress it up and dress it down like I mentioned. You can wear it with a suit. You can wear it with chinos, trousers, and jeans. A black shoe, while although classic, isn't nearly as versatile as brown. You can wear this brown brogue in any situation from business casual to, like I said, a pair of jeans. When we're talking about a full wardrobe with interchangeability and versatility, there's no better dress shoe than the brown brogue. Now next up on the list is an item that if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you won't be surprised to hear. It's the pair of jeans you can wear with those brown brogues we just mentioned. Every stylish guy needs a pair of dark denim. Dark denim works so well because of its versatility. The best pair of jeans to dress up, but yes, you can still wear them casually and dress them down. They're the grown man pair of jeans. As you can see, you can wear dark denim with so many different pair of shoes. Your brown brogues, your sneakers, your boots, your loafers, your double monk straps, your chucker boots. Dark denim works with so many different pairs of footwear. The number one pair of jeans to go to when you wanna dress them up, but still casual enough for some sneakers, hands down you need a pair of dark denim. Next up on the list, we're not quite done with denim yet. But this time we're not talking about pants, we're talking about outerwear. A great versatile interchangeable piece you definitely want a classic denim trucker jacket this is the one spring or fall jacket everybody needs rugged classic and masculine wear it over a t-shirt wear it over a sweater wear it with chinos wear it with trousers it's a great way to keep the spring or fall chill off you in a classic masculine and rugged way hands down the best lightweight jacket for a minimal wardrobe i highly recommend a denim trucker jack. Next up on the list, we have another classic masculine piece. The one to wear when it's time to rock a t-shirt. You can wear other colors, but in a wardrobe that only has 12 pieces, I highly recommend a black t-shirt. Nothing more classic and masculine than a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And if you're only going to have one color, white's going to get dirty very easily, I suggest black. Besides, everybody looks good in black, especially a black tee quintessential is masculine it's timeless and a great fitting black tee accentuates some of the best parts of a male's physique your shoulders and those biceps so if you're going for a minimal wardrobe and you need one t-shirt i recommend the black tee now next up on the list is another item that definitely won't be a surprise to frequent style og watchers of course for a minimal well-rounded wardrobe you need your chinos now if you heard me say it once i've said it a million times Chinos are the Swiss army knives of pants. That's because they walk that fine line between dressy and casual. 
More dressy than a pair of jeans, but not as stuffy as a pair of suit pants or trousers. And you can wear chinos in such a wide range of looks. With sneakers, with boots, with dress shoes, with sweaters, with Oxford button downs, and you can wear them year round. They're that versatile. Now I'll leave the color up to you, but the colors to first look out for, khaki chinos, navy, or even gray. The most versatile interchangeable pants a man can have, and definitely a part of a minimal wardrobe, no man should be without his favorite pair of chinos. Next up on the list is an indispensable item in any man's wardrobe, but especially one with only 12 pieces. Every guy needs that navy blazer. The navy blazer is your go-to when you have to dress up, but you don't quite have or want to go to a suit. Throw it over the Oxford button down. Wear it with a complete shirt and tie. It's the piece almost every guy can use when it's time to step your style and dressing this up just a bit. And of course, navy is your most versatile and interchangeable color. It's classic, it's timeless, you'll be able to use it year after year after year. So when you have to step the dressing this quotient up just a little bit, the most indispensable jacket you can have in your wardrobe, a navy blazer. Speaking of when you have to step up the dressing this quotient a bit, we all from time to time have to throw on a tie. And if you're only going to have one, I recommend a solid navy tie. The reason why I recommend a navy tie is going to work with the most shirts, the most suits, the most blazers and sports jackets. And as I mentioned with the navy blazer, navy looks good on every guy. Wear it with a blue shirt. Wear it with a white shirt. You can wear it with plain shirts or shirts with a pattern. Wear it with a gray suit, a navy suit. There's almost no dressy outfit a navy tie won't work with. Now, of course, I feel it's difficult to only have one tie in your wardrobe, but we're talking about only 12 pieces. If you're only gonna have one tie, I recommend a solid navy tie. Now, earlier on the list, we had the denim trucker jacket, a nice light piece of outerwear. But what's the piece you need to grab when the temperature drops and the lightweight jacket won't cut it? I highly recommend an overcoat. I absolutely love overcoats, and I will probably say I wear it more than any other outerwear piece I have in my wardrobe. And I believe you will too. It's stylish and functional at the same time. And what I love about a good overcoat, you can dress it up or dress it down. I'll wear it with anything from a suit all the way down to a hoodie. Now when we're talking about colors for an overcoat, I recommend one of two, either charcoal or camel. So when you need something when the temperatures are too cold for a lightweight jacket, hands down I recommend an overcoat. Now one of the best style techniques to use when you have a wardrobe with minimal pieces is layering. And one of the best items for layering, in my opinion, a gray V-neck sweater. Now I'm partial to gray, but you can go with navy as well. I love the gray V-neck sweater for the reason I mentioned. It's the perfect layering piece. Wear it over that Oxford button down. Wear it under a jacket. Wear it under a blazer. And I prefer gray because of the versatility. It's a great neutral color that you can pair a bunch of other different colors with very easily. It's functional, it's super stylish, and one of the best pieces you can have when it's time to layer. Very user friendly and super interchangeable. A great addition to a 12 piece complete wardrobe. Now earlier in the list, we had the pair of dress shoes you need for a minimal wardrobe. Now it's time for the pair of sneakers you can wear in most situations. I highly recommend a pair of white minimal sneakers. Now most of us guys, no matter what age, still like to rock our sneakers. The most versatile and stylish and easy to dress up and dress down is a white minimal sneaker. I'd say other than my brown wingtips, my white minimal sneakers are the shoes I reach for most often. Cause I'm able to wear them with so many looks chinos, jeans, shorts, trousers, and yes, even a suit. So if you only can have one pair of sneakers and a great minimal wardrobe, the easy choice, a pair of white minimal sneakers. Next up, it's time for another pair of pants. The ones to grab when jeans and chinos just aren't dressy enough. I highly recommend a pair of wool trousers, and I'm gonna lean heavily towards gray wool trousers, my personal favorites, and ones that are very versatile. As you can see, you can wear them in a wide range of situations. Throw them on with the navy blazer. Wear it with a turtleneck sweater. It's a very versatile, interchangeable pair of pants. And I will say, other than my chinos, my gray wool trousers are the ones I reach for more than any other pair of pants. Versatile, interchangeable, classic, and timeless, 
a great pair of dress pants, I highly recommend for your minimal wardrobe, gray wool trousers. Now that was a bit challenging, but I believe I pulled it off. 12 items of full wardrobe. As always, I love to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know what pieces you would have if you were trying to build a perfect wardrobe with only 12 items. 